Alrighty, what is going on over at Six Flags New England? It looks like we have a bit of a teaser. Um, so it looks like they have an announcement date of August 28, 2019, and all that's displayed is the number 252. So um, from what I'm being told, again, if I get any information incorrect, just feel free to comment down below and correct me. Um, but from what I'm being told, there's going to be an actual in-park announcement for this, which is very interesting because um, you see a park like Great Adventure doing an announcement just to the media. So whenever you see an in-park um, announcement for an attraction, um, at least I would like to assume that it's going to be something interesting, um, something major. And this park is due for something pretty major. Um, I'm, I just looked at their attraction lineup and uh, it looks like they need a pretty major thrill attraction they're one of those parks that are kind of like canada's wonderland that have like a good top three um and then nothing outside of that so maybe this is their year and 252 is a very interesting number this is a number that could go either way um and there have been some people pointing out some pretty interesting things online i came up with a th uh, theory last night in discord and of course leave it to amusement insiders to come up with this theory um, but nonetheless, I'm going to go over the two options um, that could be going on with the number 252, what I kind of expect, and what could be going on in the future of Six Flags New England. So first of all, we know that they just got a pendulum ride. Honestly, that would have been one of my um, assumptions to begin with uh, if it weren't uh, already at the park. And they already have a 4D free spin. Those are the two basic pug, uh, plug and plays that um, Six Flags is copying and pasting into their parks lately. So in my opinion, we could rule those out, obviously. So someone online brought up this really interesting um, idea. And by the way, these pictures are from Six Flags New England Online. So a huge thank you for letting me use your photo, Six Flags New England Online. And I believe this is where this theory came from, too. So uh, there's a comic number for number 252 involving Supergirl. Um, and uh, I mean, I don't know where to take this from. I'm not familiar with DC Comics whatsoever. So I can't really sit here and be like, oh, I, I wonder if this could lead to anything. The only thing... Um, that I get from comic number 252 is flying. So maybe they could be getting a flying coaster at Six Flags New England. Um, I have no idea. This does look like a park that can't really afford the largest attraction, which is why I am going to I'm I'm going to guess my second option as being most likely. Um, and I'll explain why in a bit. But um, one could assume a flying coaster or maybe even just another flat ride. Um, maybe a world record flat ride that we haven't seen before. Um, but nonetheless, it could go down anyway. We never know with Six Flags because Six Flags doesn't even open their attractions on time for the year that they're announcing for. There's never any signs. Permits are hard to find. So it's very difficult to predict what a Six Flags park is going to build unless it's like a plug and play. And there's rumors that are leading towards its um installment at that Six Legs Park. So this is one of those parks that I have no idea what they could be getting. So it's very difficult for me to sit here and predict what they're getting. But based off of the teaser, I mean, if it's comic number 252, it could go down two routes, it could go down a flat ride, or a flying coaster, in my opinion. Um, if any of you have any suggestions, comment down below what you think could be coming to Six Legs New England uh, for 2020 and what you think the teaser could be hinting at. Again, it is a very basic teaser, but I still like it. Again, 252 has me believing something, and I'm going to get to that right now. So what just opened in 2019 at a 245-foot drop? Well, that's Yukon Striker. Um, and we know that Six Flags did... Um, kind of ask their audience, their guests, questions in a survey about a dive coaster. Again, the dive coaster that they were referencing was one from Bish Gardens Williamsburg, so one of their old basic models, not these new designs like Valkyria or Yukon Striker, where they're more out and back. So um, for me, that kind of fits the bill really well. So you have 252 feet, so obviously if Six Flags is going to build a dive coaster, they're going to want to take the record from Cedar Fair. So that means, sorry Canada's Wonderland, your record may not be held too much longer. Now that is under the assumption. I have no idea what's coming to Six Flags. This isn't me saying they're getting a dive coaster, but 252 is a really interesting number in my opinion. It's very like, it's not 
280, 260, 270, 252. Seems like just a slight difference from a previous record currently just taken by a dive coaster. Um, so I think 252 would be a really awesome record to take. They could make it 252 feet tall. They could make it very short because Six Flags doesn't like to spend a ton of money. And it looks like 2020 is going to be a really big year for Six Flags. I'm just getting this weird vibe that Six Flags is about to spend a lot of money in 2020. So I'm really excited for their announcements. And I just have a sneaky suspicion that Six Flags New England is about to announce a dive coaster. I do think it's going to be very basic. I think it's going to do its drop. Maybe it'll even just do one Immelman um, and head back into the break run as quickly as possible if they're spending as little as possible. Or maybe it'll do the Immelman break run second Immelman and then break run again. Like maybe that's the direction they'll go, but it's definitely not going to be this out of the world dive coaster um, other than breaking the world's record for tallest. I don't know if it'll go underground. I can't really see that. Um, I have a feeling they're going to go for the height record. They need something in this park to stand out. And we all know dive coasters do that. A lot of people don't like dive coasters um, in the enthusiast community, but the general public love dive coasters and they bring in attendance numbers. And I think Six Flags sees that. And I think we're going to see an era of dive coasters at the Six Flags parks. And I think Six Flags New England might be that first park. I know a lot of people are groaning right now and they hate me saying this, but um, I have a sneaky suspicion Six Flags New England is going to be the first Six Flags park to get a dive coaster. I know a lot of people think Magic Mountain is going to be that park, um, but I have a feeling this is the park. That number is just screaming dive coaster to me. Comment down below if you agree or disagree um, with my uh, view on this and that number 252. Again, comment down below if you have a completely different um, opinion. I just don't see 252 matching any of the other coasters that they're currently building, like West Coast Racers. Um, maybe it is two minutes and 52 second um, ride cycle. I mean, it could be that. But nonetheless, I still think that a dive coaster is probably the most likely. Maybe it's going to have a 252 foot tall spike. Maybe it's a launch coaster by SNS or Premier or something. Who knows? It could be anything at this point, but this is just me speculating. So again, the two models that I think are most likely based off of the teasers right now are a flying coaster uh, kind of being the least likely because that would be a little more costly, in my opinion, just because you would have to build a slightly larger layout or the dive coaster being the most likely. And then outside of that, probably a launch coaster with a spike if it's not one of those options. Anyways, again, comment down below what you think. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick update um, on my viewpoints of Six Flags New England's 2020 teaser and coaster um, or flat ride. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.